Ten months to the next general election and political realignments are shaping the country's political landscape. Peter Kenneth is the latest politician to move from his political party. That is the Kenyan National Congress, a political vehicle he used to mount his presidential ambition in 2013 to the Jubilee Party, which is led by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto. There are two coalitions because our country has formed the basis of support for those two groups. So Bila Shaka, nikaangalia nikaona kutakuwa na mabadiliko. And with that, the former KC party leader affirmed that his name was not going to be on the ballot paper in 2017 as a presidential candidate. Itampatia support raisi ambaye yuko sasa ni muunge mkono as he seeks re-election. The man who lined up for the Kibaki succession contest in 2013, coming fourth in the race that was won by President Kenyatta, will be seeking the governorship seat instead. But which county? Nairobi? Or his home county of Maranga? I've been approached by one or two, three counties, including Nairobi, Nantamua, Nigani, and Tangangania. Sivio, ili tuje tufanya biashara pamo? Pamoja. Sources tell NTV that the former Gatanga legislator is being tipped for Nairobi's top job. I live in this city, I see most of the things. But I have also served as a member of parliament in another county. And I know that they have similar issues. Nairobi is like a sick person in ICU and needs to go through surgery. What usually happens when you're going through a surgeon, you'd want the best surgeon. You don't want to take chances. And we know of a person who has a track record that is impeccable. I strongly emphasize, and yes, we need a new county boss. We do. Now, the race to unseat Dr. Evans Kidero as Nairobi governor is heating up with the number of those eyeing the county's top seat increasing day by day. Kenneth Move is likely to start stiff competition in Jubilee, bearing in mind that water CS Eugene Omalwa and Nairobi Senator Mike Mbuvi Sonko have also declared interest to unseat Kidero. Others in the race for the Jubilee ticket include former TNA chairman Johnson Sakaja, Dagoriti South MP Dennis Waweru, and former Starehe legislator Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. Sonko, on his part, has welcomed Peter Kenneth to the duel, saying he's ready for the battle. But Johnson Sakaja has challenged Peter Kenneth to commence the process of dissolving his political party, KNC, into Jubilee Party before he can make any declaration. The incumbent Kidero has maintained that his competitors are welcome, but assures them of a real battle, saying he is confident of serving a second term as the city boss. Enoxicolia, NTV.